Hey pharmacist, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited to share this with you because I got my hands on a Freestyle Libre 3. Now this isn't available in my country and in many countries, but I was able to buy one from a country in Europe where it is available and I'm so excited to do an unboxing, apply the sensor, walk you through the app, and basically all the things I've done in my previous videos with the Freestyle Libre 1, 2, and the Dexcom G7. All right, let's begin. The Freestyle Libre 3 is a real-time continuous glucose monitoring device with alarms capability indicated for the management of diabetes in persons age four and older. Remember, the way the Libre works is that it collects glucose from the interstitial fluid just beneath the surface of the skin. The Libre 3 sends glucose readings every minute to the reader so there's no need to scan the device next to the sensor as you would have had to do in the Freestyle Libre 1, for example. There is a separate physical reader that can be available for use with the Libre 3. However, for this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the app itself. This is the box the Freestyle Libre 3 comes in. You'll notice it's much smaller than the Freestyle Libre 2. And the reason for that is because the sensor comes preloaded with the applicator. So there's no need to assemble two pieces together and make sure they line up. And it's basically just a lot simpler. And that's why it's so much smaller than the previous models. Though the contents in this box contain one sensor applicator and one uh, product insert, there's no alcohol wipes in here. So I've made sure to have one handy. So let's go ahead and open the box. There is a seal here. So I'm going to open that and let's see what we have. It's so simple. That's all it is. That's all that's in the box there. We'll start with the product insert and it has a really nice visual of how the insertion process works as well as some other important details. So I'm going to set this aside because to be honest, it's in a language that I don't understand. And I'm pretty familiar with this now. And I've read user guides in English as well. So I'm going to put that aside. And let's have a look at the applicator with the built-in sensor. Let's go ahead and open this and take a look at what's inside. You've got the, this is just the lid and, and this is all pre-built in here. I see a needle, I see the adhesive. So I'm going to put this against my skin press firmly and um, basically the spring action within this applicator will push the sensor forward, allow the adhesive to stick to my skin and the needle that you see here will guide the placement of a filament that will stay in my skin and allow the fluid to be collected so that it can read the glucose levels. The needle that you see will be retracted back into the applicator so don't worry about that. Um, it can look a little bit scary but I promise you that um, it's very quick and then you won't see that needle again. The first step when applying the sensor is to choose where the sensor is gonna go. So you have two options, the left arm or the right arm. Now I'm right-handed, so it's easier for me to apply the sensor into my left arm. Plus, as you'll see, I've already got the Freestyle Libre 2 here. And so I wanna keep them side by side, which I can do because I still have some, some fat here left to inject too. Remember, always, avoid any muscles. Um, it's really good, important to use the back of the arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the sensor there and then you'll be able to see the difference between the two. Before we insert, we're going to go ahead and clean the site with an alcohol swab and let it completely dry before applying the sensor. Because if the sensor area isn't clean or isn't dry, then the adhesive won't stick as well and we want the sensor to last for 14 days. So I'm setting the cap aside and there are places that guide where your fingers can go to help with the placement. So I'm going to hold that securely and I'm not so nervous because I just did this with the Freestyle Libre 2. There was a bit of a prick, I'm not going to lie. Let's see how it compares to this one. So one, two, three. Okay, there we go. And see both the sensors it's actually a little bit hard for me to see but wow that's a big difference in the size of these two sensors incredible 
So there you go. We've applied the Freestyle Libre 3. There is a warm up period of 60 minutes. So during that time, we're going to set up the app. An important tip before we begin is that users will have to make a choice between which device they want to use to get their glucose readings. If they want to use the app, then they won't be able to use the reader. Similarly, if they activate the sensor with the reader, they won't be able to use the app. So it's important to make that choice right from the beginning. So I'm going to go to the App Store and find the Freestyle Libre 3. Remember that there is an app for each device. So the Freestyle Libre 2 has its own app and the Freestyle Libre 3 has its own. So make sure you're downloading the right one. In order for me to download this, like I said, it's not available in my country. I had to change the location of my Apple ID. So <laughs> very committed to this. Now that I've downloaded it, I'm going to open it and it's going to ask for me to connect Bluetooth, which is important because that's how the readings are sent. When you first scan the device, which is what we're going to do, it uses NFC technology. So the same type of technology that you use when you are using your phone to pay for something um, and it transmits some data in order to do that. So it's the same thing. When we set up the app with the sensor, the first time it'll use NFC technology, but moving forward, it'll use Bluetooth. So you have to make sure that that's turned on so you can get those live readings. So I am at this screen now and it says get started. And what it's gonna do now is take me through some tips on what I'm about to see when I go through the app. I'm going to allow Libre to send me notifications and to send critical alerts. So this is really important so that you don't miss if you are going low, for example, as that can be really important to catch. Okay, so now I'm on the screen where it says apply a new sensor. And it says the sensor should only be applied to the back of your upper arm, check. Let's click on scan a new sensor. Hold the top of your iPhone very close to the sensor. So the NFC technology, the antenna for that is at the top of this device. If I had an Android, it would be more likely in the middle, depends on the phone, but it tends to be more at the back of the phone towards the middle. But I know for iPhone, it's at the top. So I'm going to go ready to scan and okay. So it says the sensor will be ready in 60 minutes and I'll be back to show you my first reading. Well, the warm up period has finished and I have my first reading, which you can see here on the home screen. And you'll see my current glucose level as well as a trend arrow telling me where my glucose is going. Um, and eventually as more readings appear, as you know, they happen every minute, um, this graph will start to complete itself. Well, there you go. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos where I'll be comparing the one versus two versus three and seeing how it stands up to the Dexcom device. Like, subscribe, and hey, have a really nice day. Bye, pharmacist.